Welcome to the Beyond Football Show. Here's your host, Hannah Hall and Kate Lay. Welcome back to the Beyond Football Show. I'm your host, Hannah Hall. And I'm Kate Lay, here to talk about all things beyond football. And today, to be honest, Hannah, I'm stressed. I, what's, what's wrong? What's you wrong? know, I'm here visiting my mom, you know, and we sat down and she was like, hey, so well, what's, mm-hmm. what's going on with your career? Like, what are, what are we doing in the future? What are we doing after we graduate college? And I was like, honestly, mom, I have no idea. I just recently created a LinkedIn and I don't really know how to even start, make connections. I don't even know how to do anything about that. So I'm really stressed. But I know that I'm only a sophomore in college, so it's okay that I don't have the what's after college, you know, career path yet. But it's just kind of stressful because obviously I want a job after I graduate college, but it's just kind of like, what is that job, you know, and what are the steps that I need to take? But speaking of steps, today's guest kind of has a kind of career path, you know, knows the steps to take for career development. And today's guest is Chris Wood. So let's give him a warm welcome. Welcome on, Chris. Uh, I just want to start off with just introduce yourself. What's your major? What's your position on the field? And obviously, you are the LinkedIn king of San Jose State football. So let's just get to it. Tell me about yourself. Um. Hi, my name is Chris Wood. Um, I'm a kicker punter on the football team. Um, I'm a business administration major, uh, just focused in general business because, you know, I'm kind of deciding on what path I want to go on, but um, that's some pretty basic information. I think that's perfect. I mean, obviously, Kate over here is struggling with figuring that out, and it's definitely something that you go into college and you got to figure out, and it's difficult. The path is not easy, but luckily we do have a football program called Beyond Football that helps us to figure out what's going to come after football for you guys. Um, So the first thing I want to talk about, we have these things called Workshop Wednesdays, and I'm not even going to try to tell the audience what they are, so I'm just going to let you tell me about what is Workshop Wednesdays and what do you gain from them? Definitely. Um, the workshop Wednesdays, they're uh, every Wednesday during the season. Yeah. It started, I think, back in last fall. We had, um, so when I first got here, we had normally like pre-COVID, like we had people come in and talk to the whole, a whole bunch of people. And those were the workshops where you would, you would all sit around together and uh, bring your laptops or whatever. But, um, you know, the workshop Wednesdays, it's kind of, it's kind of nice because it's over Zoom. You could do it at the comfort of your own desk. Um, but they're like every Wednesday. Uh, it's during the fall, during the spring. And I think we're going to have some in the summer. I'm not too sure about that, though. Sorry. But pretty much it's just, it's kind of just a little seminar. And it's like with the, you know, it could be anyone from the Bay, like a CEO and like just a uh, former alumni. It, it's, it's a really great program. And it's just it's good for our team to kind of just get introduced to the topic of, you know, the career after football and some of the guys, you know, you could sign up for one that may interest you and you could just sign up for another one that might not be your career choice, but it's nice to make that connection and just hear about their experience. So. Definitely. Um, I have gotten the honor to be able to kind of sit in on some of these workshop Wednesdays. Um, I actually got to sit in on, Ryan Tolner, who is a, I think he's the owner of Rep One Agency and as well as the a major agent in the football world, as we know, um, that was definitely something super memorable for me. I kind of want to ask you, like, who has been your most memorable presenter um, that has been featured on the Workshop Wednesday? Okay. So I really liked Ryan Tolner because, like, it, it, I never really thought about the sports agency like that. And then, um, I kind of, he kind of talked about the marketing side, which is something I want to go into. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but the most memorable one, um, I think for me, it would have to be, uh, Andrew Bosworth. He was a face, he's the Facebook VP and he kind of runs all of like Oculus, um, 
VR virtual virtual reality. I think that was probably the coolest one. It was more of like a all all of a team one, but um, definitely getting him on the call and just hearing about his stories was just so motivating. And um, I think recently too, with uh, we had uh, two CEOs of a tech sales company. It was uh, last week. It was a uh, I think it was it was it was Jay and uh, Kendrick. That was who it was. It was two CEOs, Jay Fulcher and uh, Kendrick Trotter. Uh, I think that was the coolest one because they just shared their story because they were both athletes. And you know, I th- I love hearing their stories about how they you know they didn't have a really a career path. Even when they graduated, they were just kind of worried about football and um, the fact that they were able to be that successful right after is just amazing. Yeah, definitely. It's super touching and it's crazy to see and all these different stories. um, It's been, like I said, I got to sit in on one workshop Wednesday and it was super informative. You really get to learn and dive into what these people, these working professionals are all about as well as what their daily life Mm -hmm. looks like. And I feel like as a student athlete, it's great to have that insight um, into what their lives look like because maybe you don't see yourself working in a sports agency but now as you said you know rep one ryan tolner talks about the marketing and promotion side of it and there you go all of a sudden maybe that's something that sparks your interest it's just it's very informative and like you said some boys some of the guys they can go to one session they could go to all of them like i 100% recommend taking advantage of all those sessions because there's just so much good content in that. But I do want to say we're going to switch over to the LinkedIn side, which is something you excel in. Um, I'm going to call you Chris Wood, the LinkedIn King, because I see you on LinkedIn, man. I see you. Um, I noticed you post on LinkedIn after each session. What are your intentions behind posting? And also maybe what, what is LinkedIn? Some people don't even know what LinkedIn yeah. is. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of like websites out there and kind of like think of it as social media in a way, but for your career. And there's a lot of those, but definitely LinkedIn is probably the most popular one. And um, uh, kind of just after every workshop, I always, I, I like posting like literally like five minutes right after or like take me the time to write up, write up about it. And um post maybe like five ten minutes after just kind of showing that like I was really interested in I'm not gonna wait a week to post it like I was really interested in what they were saying and, and I feel like it just kind of shows you know the employer and whoever we were talking to and their connections that like this was really cool mm-hmm. and even if it wasn't like a career path I was interested in just making that connection and talking to them it was the coolest part but um yeah LinkedIn's definitely just it's it's just a really cool then you get to message new connections and stuff on there. And um, yeah. Definitely. I see that. It definitely comes through. Um, as I said, I'm, kind of, I'm on your LinkedIn. I think we're a connection. But, uh, <laughs> I do admire the way you do post after each of the sessions. And it really does show that you're engaged in something I would encourage all athletes to do. Yeah, no, definitely. And speaking of connections, I know that you, I think on LinkedIn, you can connect with like anyone. So besides everyone on that you're connecting with through workshop Wednesdays, has there, has there been anyone that you've connected with that's not someone, you know, through workshop Wednesdays because of what you've been posting and all of that? um yeah there's been there's been a few it's it's kind of just like you know like i hit so linkedin you could get a premium edition and that'll kind of show you who views your profile Mm -hmm. and there's been a couple people where they viewed my profile like my post and i've connected with them and kind of talk talk with them i've had a couple like former nfl athletes you know um kind of just exploring their career options we just connect on that and um a lot of people from whatever business was t- we talked to during the workshop Wednesday, you know, like recruiters and stuff, which is really good, you know, connecting with them, having that connection from the previous workshop one day, Wednesday guy was pretty cool. Yeah, no, that's super cool. Speaking of careers, you know, um, after football, what what's next for Chris Wood? Is there a specific industry you're looking into or, you know, career wise, what are you thinking about doing after football? 
Definitely. Um, I mean, obviously, NFL is a goal. As a football player, you kind of have to have that. But also, I've seen, like, a lot a lot of, like, times in the past, you know, a lot of people don't make it. And a lot of people don't have that plan B. And a lot of people just, you know, they work for it for five years and nothing happens. And it's just kind of it's kind of scary. So you always got to have that plan B. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but I'd say for me, I, I'm definitely interested in, like, the marketing and sales type of uh, industry because they can kind of go hand in hand a little bit um, you can work your way up especially too but um yeah you know what I think I'm gonna have to connect with you and send you a message on LinkedIn because I think I might have a good p place for you I currently oh, intern with one and I could see you there man I can definitely see you there so take advantage of those connections you know what I mean yeah definitely yeah. No, I definitely do agree, you know, take advantage of every opportunity that is presented to you, you know, maybe with Beyond Football and even outside of Beyond Football. But, you know, I'm, I'm a newbie on LinkedIn, you know, and I'm pretty sure it's not a lot of student athletes are on LinkedIn. So I guess my question to you and maybe provide some of your knowledge, LinkedIn King, what are some things, some tips on you know starting your LinkedIn and how to even get started. What what's the first thing like a profile picture, a bio? How should our bio look like? Like who who do we who do we connect with? What what, what? to let us yeah. know? We need help and we all <laughs> um, no yeah. totally. And a lot of my help I've gotten from Tobrook. You know, um, it's it's one of those things too. It's like I didn't I didn't, I had no idea. I came into this it was my freshman year. I was like I'm just gonna do my freshman year. I'm just gonna kind of enjoy everything not really worry about obviously worry about your career but like yeah. I, mean, I was I didn't get on it until like my sophomore year and that's when I was kind of like because I had an old roommate a former punter here Alex Gallon. you know he kind of taught me the ins and outs of it too and um so I was like you know I should get on this I should start early and um it kind of takes me back to recruiting like with football and in high school it's like I wish I started earlier in terms of like kind of building my brand which I started like around my junior, my, the end of my junior year. So in a way I compare it a lot to that and a lot to like social media. So if you're good at social media, you could be good at LinkedIn. It's just a matter of kind of social media. You could post certain stuff on LinkedIn. It's more professional. And the, you know, the, the words you say are definitely more professional than regular social media. But um, I'd say like with profile picture, it's always a business business casual, business attire, um, uh, bio. I'm still working on mine because, you know, you got to make it good. It's kind of like that resume bio or like a cover letter type thing. Exactly. I'm definitely working on that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really not that hard. It's, it's, it's a process, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of, it's very rewarding at the same time. I, I find myself on LinkedIn at midnight I should be on, yeah. I should be on Twitter but no you know what sometimes I am on LinkedIn do you relate to that or is yeah, it just yeah. crazy? oh totally <laughs> it, it's weird how sometimes LinkedIn is kind of like Twitter because yeah. people just <laughs> people just post stuff sometimes right. it's not even related to their company like they'll just post things and like in a way it's just nice because then you can see like your connections and see what they're up to and mm -hmm. yeah I don't know it's just one of those things it's right. pretty cool no. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for taking the time out of your yeah. day to interview with us, you know, and it's really inspirational. And I think I learned a lot. So after this meeting, I will definitely connect with you. <laughs> and I know our listeners were waiting for this special spicy oh. moment. We like to spice it up at the Beyond Football. Spice it up. You know, so today, actually, me and Chris are actually buddies. So we're going to do a little special something different for you guys me and chris are going to do a little tiktok moment for you guys okay. singing you know i'm i'm so excited for this i'm <laughs> so excited <laughs> i'm a little nervous <laughs> are we ready i'm gonna press I play ready. I okay. think we're ready. all right hey y'all i'm here with my best friend best friend show them your moves go <laughs> Ooh, you get it i guess Okay, I'm next, best friend. Get the camera. Dougie, hype me up. Okay. All right, I hope you guys liked our little dance segment. And oh. thank you again, Chris, for, you know, 
sharing your knowledge about everything. I hope our listeners also were writing down some notes on how to start their LinkedIn as well. And thank you to our listeners for always tuning in every week listening to us and listening to our fellow Spartans as well. You know, your listening ship and your viewership means a lot to us and tune in it next week. World. Yeah, it means a lot to us because me and Hannah have been working really hard and finding our, and even like just talking to our athletes, you know, I think it means a lot to them too, to, you know, share their story and also show you guys that they are more than an athlete and they have, goals and are really career driven so thank you again thank you so much and tune in next week who are we going to talk to i i really don't know is it gonna be an athlete alum coach what who and (laughs) tune in tune in next week thank you for listening to the beyond football show and we'll see you guys next week see you guys Bye. Bye. bye